in with my buddy Eddie in his tone chamber. How's it going, Eddie? Man, it's going good, man. It's going very oh, good. Good deal. How's your day been, man? You know what? It's raining all day, so I'm stuck in here all day. So it's not a bad day at all. Man, that's nice you get to hang out here all day. And uh, you've done a little bit of rearranging and stuff. We're more yeah. in front of your control booth here. We're more centered so that way y'all don't have any OCD problems. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Not if, like me. If, if, if there is OCD problems, uh, you could comment below. Yeah. They're very soon. Yes, I do. Uh, I don't per se, but my band, uh, I'm in a band, uh, you know, Southern Sunrise, yeah. and uh, we got an album, our first album, Keep On Running. It's coming out February 20th, which will be next Saturday. Uh, hopefully the video, it'll be it'll be out before yeah. then, but de definitely. If you're watching this video after February 20th, look it up on iTunes, Spotify, what other forms of media? Uh, anything. Uh, Spotify, Amazon, uh iTunes or Apple, whatever it's called nowadays. What are we What are we talking about today, Eddie? You've got this interesting little piece of gear, which we talked about the Explorer, like. But uh, what are we talking about today, mainly? So today we are going to be discussing the Boss Synthesizer SY1 pedal, made by the Rolling Company, aka Boss. This thing is just. It is the greatest pedal you will ever play with. I don't care if you're playing with an octave pedal, a delay pedal, a reverb pedal. I don't care what other pedal you want to play with. Those will never, ever compare to this thing. But you make such, that is such a bold claim, dude. But why do you why do you make such a claim? Like, what makes this thing stand out like from the rest? Yeah. Well, I'll give you this explanation. Um, growing up as a kid, I tried to learn how to play piano, and it did not work. And to this day, I have not played piano at all. Like it's, I'm I'm terrible at. It. I know, like, the keys. I could probably read the music, but I'm not, I'm not that gifted. So, one day I went to a, a music shop in uh, Tennessee. It was a somewhere in Lebanon, I think. And the guy was just trying out this pedal. I was like, hey, dude, try this thing out. It's like, okay. I plugged it in. He's like, oh my god, I gotta buy this thing. The problem is, I was so broke, I could not get it. For Five months, I was drooling over this thing. I was watching YouTube videos. So finally, one day, I saved up enough money, ordered this pedal through my local music shop, and this has been my favorite number one pedal ever since. Now, I never really publicized this pedal way too much. The one time the entire community really knew about this pedal was when I went to the local blues jam. Mm -hmm. I turned on that B3 organ setup, and man, I'm pretty sure people just lost, like, who the hell brought in a B3 organ? Seriously, man, like, well, why don't you play just a little bit for us? Yeah, let's go ahead, uh, I think we're on the first setup. So <laughs> synthesizer and all with just the click of a button the people at boss really know how to make a quality stomp box yes absolutely i am i'm proud to have this i really am and i'm proud of what they do this and, is amazing and i can see but like and i've seen you play this so much like you play to this so you do you use this so well man what do you when you're playing with this what's going through what's going through your soul what's going through my soul is kind of like i'm going when you're doing like guitar music, you're kind of like at your own cloud nine, you know, like, yeah, it could yeah. be sharp, it could be bumpy, it depends on the kind of music you're playing, whether it's jazz, rock, blues, all that stuff, even metal for me. But this stuff, I mean, it just, it gives you a whole dynamic. I mean, you could play techno, you could play pop, you could play electronica. And probably a new form of genre if you wanted to. I'm sure you could. You could probably come up with some techno country jazz or something. Something like that. Or Maybe. The other day I kind of got inspired by watching the Cashmere Celebration Day in 2007. Oh, okay. Where you see uh, John Paul Jones playing the, uh, the keyboard. Oh, yeah. And this thing has a bass setup. So all you bass guitars, this is a pedal that you can use as well. There's a bass setup for this thing. Alright, and I see it. Well, let's go to that. So the, the controls, well, I see here um, these first two knobs um, the it's a it's a dual stack. So if, what that means is that there's pretty much two potentiometers where one normally is. Yes. Um, so like with this one right here, it, 
the main knob right here around the side, that's where you either want too much uh, synthesizer or too much guitar. That's your choice. <laughs> is a tone and this the lower potentiometer it controls it says rate and depth yeah. so I guess like yeah. how how fast the synth will move yes, or the exactly. waves will move um, I'll mess around with my Synthesizer. Of you course. don't want to just play that same one all the time. You want to play something different. And with Bucks, they did not give you one. No, they give you 181 different options! <laughs> So that's 22 options right there. Gosh, this is crazy. So I'm just gonna like just dial this over to the other synth lead pad. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
has like you know like uh, I'm trying to think of good songs that, that really feature a lot of pad like uh, Rain by the Cold you know there's a little bit of pad in that song in the intro so like uh, Your notes mm -hmm. and just elevate your music to the next level. And, and you can you can do that with this. So let's hit that that bass what we were talking about earlier. Right? Oh yeah, we don't need to hire no more bass players anymore. church organist come to, to show up. <laughs> Stuff, man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> 
such a bold claim earlier. Yes. Because you can do so much with this. I mean, it's got auto watts, it's got phasers, it's got tremolo, it's got fuzz, it's got some octaves. Delays, it's, reverbs, it's got it all in one little box and that you can control with your feet. And how much does this... This one normally is going about 200 bucks. Okay. Whether it's Guitar Center, uh, our local music shop, Crossroads. Sweetwater. Sweetwater. Sam Ash, all musicians, those guys. friends, AMS. I mean, all of those. You're going to be, you're going to be, you're going to be seeing prices about the same with that one. Uh, you're not going to see many of this on the used market because people love this. Stuff. I was about to say, people that aren't. Say, I have, I shop Reverb a lot, and I look. I even I shop eBay for pedals and stuff. I've never seen one of these things used. No. I haven't. I genuinely haven't. And when you when it comes to competition, electro harmonics kind of has something. Really. But at the same time, they're it doesn't compete. Like all the that one pedal that they have, I can't remember the identification number of the pedal. But all it is is just organ. 
this one is more than just Oregon. I know what you're talking about. They had a couple of those. Uh, that I was actually really interested in their B3 model. Yes, But, yes. I mean, this thing, it... It has it all. If it's, yeah, it's, it can do it all. Not knocking electro harmonics, because Mike Matthews and them over there, that great builders, they Absolutely. make killer... I mean, you got a big muff on your board, dude. Yes. It's, <laughs> but uh, it's... This thing... It just blows every other pedal out of the water. If you, I mean, I can agree with that. I mean, dude, it can do pretty much anything. And if you're in like a musical rut or st feel like you're stuck or need some inspiration, pick up one of these things. And your, your music will never be the same when you play one of these things. I mean, like, yeah, you could play your traditional guitar stuff, but this just gives you something. Like something different. It could be like the same genre. It could be a different genre. It could just be a, a different time sequence, and for all that matters. Yeah. sound that it's gear ma makes you want to play exactly that's what it guitars make it, you want it, to play it, it, it's supposed to influence you it, inspiration influence yes. that's and that's what i mean i don't want to stop playing but oh, right. like i don't want this video to be like three hours long too so <laughs> i think it's time we get to a jam but guys seriously the, you come, the last thing i'll add to this is the cons uh this is the stuff i do not like about this uh with the synthesizer pedal uh, sometimes, like, it, you have a hard time picking up, like, these lower strings over here. Picking up the sound sometimes. Not all the times, but sometimes. The other thing, and this is the thing I do not like the most about this thing, is that I don't like reaching down to my pedal board to change a knob. I wish it could be up here with us. Well, it's funny you mention that, actually, because I think I might have a solution to your problem. Um... My favorite guitar player, David Gilmore, he actually had a very similar thing, but with his talk box. And he didn't like having the module at his feet, so they rigged up pretty much like this, and his module is right there in front of him, and he can just turn, he can dial whatever knobs he needs to right in front of him. So yeah. I think if you incorporate something like this, put like a black box or something behind to hide the mystique, so they won't, so... Of course, I have some other crazy idea, but I won't go into All right. review with this video. We'll have to do another video about that. All right. Well, buddy, man, it's is, there any, is, is there any... I'm actually really surprised that there is something you don't like about this, but I can get that about the bending down. And, um, 
Is there anything else about this pedal that you think they should know about before purchasing it, or like any tips or tricks? Uh, tips, uh, yes. Um, it's a little bit extra charged. I would also recommend getting an expression pedal, so that way, like, for example, like if I wanted to let you play, like, let's go to, back to that little drumming book mod. <laughs> change your tempo and everything. It's almost like a wall pedal. Let's try to sell a little more. It's noticeable. turning too many knobs it, it does help out a lot the other tip I would have for this thing uh, if you decide to run like a boost pedal I recommend running it before the synthesizer pedal anything else after that uh, it could come out very distorted so this is definitely one of those pedals where you would like to have almost at the very end of your pedal board that makes perfect sense that, that's actually a really good reason you brought that up yes uh, yeah um, cool man let's get to jamming buddy absolutely Action! <laughs> 